Saw Night is just around the corner. We are just a few months away from this movie. And I've been wanting to make this video for a good five to six months now. Um, I've just been thinking and planning because I want to give you guys my in-depth reasons for why I think Dr. Gordon will return in Saw 9. And second of all, is Adam alive? Which is the big question that the Saw community is asking at the moment. Is Adam alive or is he truly dead forever? And now before I go forward in this video, I just want to state I have no insight at all into Saw 9. I don't know what the plot is. I don't know any of the twists and turns. I don't know any of the actors that will be returning to Saw 9. Minus the ones that have already been confirmed and that is already public information. You know, we know that, you know, Tobin Bell is returning. We know that Shawnee Smith is returning. But, you know, everything else I am left in the dark with. I know as much as you guys do. So, what I'm about to talk about in this video is purely conspiracy and and theory and what I would personally like to see in Saw 9 and how it would be able to expand the Saw universe. And now I, I want to I wanna say a few things before I jump in to this video. Uh, there's a few rumors going around at the moment uh, regarding Saw 9 that this film will be set in Mexico. Which is an interesting location because we haven't had a Saw film as of yet to take place in Mexico. As far as we know, all these Saw films have been taking place, you know, within the States. So, you know, to kind of, you know, make a Saw film in Mexico, you know, I think there's a lot of potential there. I think this, I think Saw 9 has a very high possibility on, on making another public execution uh, trap sequence as per the one that we saw in Saw 3D, the final chapter. So one similar to that. And this is also just a rumor that Saw 9 will take place between Saw 2's storyline and Saw 3's storyline. Uh, if you guys can confirm that for me, but last I read, uh, that's you know that's what I heard and I'm just going off the information that I have heard about this movie so all of that could completely be false but for the sake of this video I'm just going to take that on board as being uh, as being truth but don't take my word as being you know a hundred percent you know like like sourceful you know so yeah so getting into my reasons on why I think Dr. Gordon will return in Saw 9 so as we saw at the end of Saw 3D, the final chapter, spoilers if you haven't seen Saw 3D, the final chapter, Dr. Gordon is one of Jigsaw's apprentices now, and he's been involved in all of the games since Saw 2. He's had his hands, you know, he's had his hands like every now and then in a few traps. He was the one who created uh, the, the surgery, uh, what is it, the surgery trap sequence, the see no evil, speak no evil. Uh, opening trap that we saw in Saw 4. He had his hands involved in that. He had his hands involved in the, uh, what is it, in the, in the, uh, in, oh, what the, oh, what the fuck's it called? Uh, Phoenix, uh, was it a fly trap that we saw at the start of Saw 2. He was involved in that. So yeah, he's had his hands involved in, in a lot of these games. And if Saw 9 is going to go that direction, on being based in between Saw 2 and Saw 3, I think, I think bringing Dr. Gordon in, I think that's one of the best decisions you could make. Because a lot of fans were pissed off with the development on Dr. Gordon's character at the end of Saw 3D, the final, uh, the final chapter. Because it was all done in a two minute montage. There wasn't a whole lot of information that was really processed or presented. And there's like the big question is still out there and is yet to be answered yet is what happened to Dr. Gordon's family? We have no fucking idea what happened to them, whether they are dead, whether they are alive or because, you know, one of uh, Dr. Gordon's last words at the end of Saw was, you know, I have to go, you know, save my family. That was, you know, one of his uh, last words. 
So, you know, there's like, so there's that space in between where Saw 1 ended and where Saw 2 starts at exactly, you know, what happened to Dr. Gordon. Because, you know, at, you know, Saw 3D, you know, started off with him, you know, you know, dragging himself out of the bathroom and all of that. And, you know, and Jigsaw, you know, taking him on board and seeing potential in him, you know, to continue on uh, John Kramer's legacy. So that's how, you know, Saw 3D started. And so, yeah, we have those puzzle pieces, you know, connected there. But then as far as what happened with his family, you know, whether they're involved in, you know, in Dr. Gordon's, you know, sick game or, you know, or whether they're in a game of their own. Because, you know, one thing that we did learn from uh, Dr. Gordon in the first all is that him and his wife had a lot of arguments. They did not see eye to eye on many things. And so, you know, Dr. Gordon would obviously have a motivation to put his wife, would, uh, to put his wife in a trap. And, but then, you know, like, I, I don't think that will happen, but, you know, that is, you know, a possibility. But, you know, I'm just trying to think out what, what could have and what would have happened to his family. Um, and so, you know, I think to bring him back and to answer that question and to kind of give just more development on his character, on exactly, you know, what he has been up to and just giving, you know, like a full story on Dr. Gordon. I think that's, I think that's what we need. I think that's what a lot of Saw fans want because, you know, Mark Hoffman has had his screen time. Amanda has had her uh, screen time to develop. And so, you know, I think, uh, you know, I think, yeah, Dr. Gordon needs, needs his film to really kind of show his place in the Saw timeline. And, uh... You know, I, you know, I'm, 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 you know, I'm trying to process all of this, you know, as I'm speaking to you guys. Um, uh, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Where was that? Where was that at with this? Um, and so, you know, it's just, yeah, I like, I think having, it's, I, I think, yeah, having him back and instead of in a montage sequence, kind of, you know, breaking it down exactly, you know, what, what happened to his family because you know so if this is taking place in between Saw 2 and Saw 3 there is a high possibility that we could be continuing that subplot from Saw 1 and you know we could see um yeah yeah so like I did I did not plan this video so yeah like all my you know sentences probably aren't making sense um I'll come back to Dr. Gordon in just a minute so now let's talk about Adam for a quick second before I forget about him. <sighs> okay, how do I say this? I think, yeah, Adam, I think Adam is alive. I've been a supporter of that theory, you know, since the very beginning. I have a strong belief Adam is still alive. And I have a couple of reasons, I have a couple of reasons to state here. For one, I'm going to reference Saw 1 here. One of the last words Dr. Gordon said to Adam is, I is I'm I'm going to go get help for you. I'm going to go get help for you. So I I know I feel like that's that's kind of just there. That's there as a tease. And it's said more than once as well. And like the way he's saying it, like there there's a lot of emotion on his face. There's a lot of like there's like, you know, there's definitely, a, by the end of Saw 1, there's definitely a chemistry between these two characters. So, I think there is a good chance Adam could have got out of the bathroom. And then, second of all, you know, there's been behind-the-scenes photos of Saw 9 where we are returning to the Legacy bathroom location. And, hmm, why would we be returning there, you say? Fucking, you know, fucking resurrecting Adam. Bringing him back into this franchise. Why else would we go back to the bathroom? And if this film is going to be set in Mexico, we can only assume that this that the bathroom would be done in flashback forms. And so, and now I want to kind of bring up uh, the other Saw, Saw films here. So throughout the franchise, you know, we have constantly revisited the location of the legacy uh, bathroom and we've seen Adam's, at least 
Adam's supposedly dead body in the corner of that fucking bathroom. And now, here's what I think has happened. Is that Adam, Adam has got out. He has, you know, found another dead body. Because, you know, think about it. Out of all these Saw films, nobody has survived. There's been like a handful of characters that have actually made it out of these trap scenarios. And so to actually, for Adam to actually kind of just grab one of those dead bodies, you know, like they're already dead, you know, just, you know, chain them up, just put his, put his, you know, bloody t-shirt on and put his, you know, jeans on a dead body is very much a possibility. So as far as we know, that could not be Adam's body. That could just be some, you know, random, you know, person's body that he found on the street. As far as we know. And I and I know I know you guys can bring up you know that flashback what was it in Saw Three I believe where you know Amanda suffocates Adam. Um, I don't know how that connects into this, but you know like suffocation can definitely kill some kill someone. But you know there's also a chance for survival there. There's also you know there's also just there's also a chance there because that, that can't you know permanently kill someone. And so, you know, I think, you know, there is a, you know, and I think just knowing, you know, John Kramer that, you know, he is, you know, he, like he, he's a mechanic and all that. And he has all these people, you know, that, you know, that have, you know, handled dead bodies before and know how to bring back dead bodies, you know, Mark Hoffman. Uh, you know, it would not, you know, surprise me if, you know, if that kind of ties in to Saw 9's plot. So, like, as I said, some of the reasons I'm listening here could be absolutely, you know, could absolutely be absurd and could be, like, ridiculous and might not even happen. What I'm doing here is I'm just stating every reason possible for why Adam and Dr. Gordon, you know, could still be active in this franchise and how they could be brought back. Like, a character I would also like to see in so is honestly Scott Tibbs. I mean, I fucking loved his documentary. If you have not checked out Scott the Scott Tibbs documentary on, uh, like on the Saw special feature menu, I highly recommend check that out because that is a fucking fantastic documentary. And I would love to see, I would love to see, you know, I would love to see him and what happened to him because you know, like as far as we know, like there's like there's a lot of possibilities with where this franchise could do. Could go like Scott Tibbs could be a you know could be an apprentice because we didn't entirely see him die. He set up his own trap and uh, excuse me uh, and all of that and um, yeah we never saw what happened to him. So you know Scott Tibbs he could be alive he could be dead. So you know I think there's a lot of possibilities with where Saw Nine could go and I think you know I think Adam is definitely alive i am a, i know i'm gonna get a whole lot of hate down in that comment section you know like oh fucking bullshit you know adam's dead and you know fucking you know you oh like you know oh like you know uh you fucking must be high dude you know like adam is definitely dead i don't think so i think he's very much alive and you know, i think you know i think it would be awesome actually to see a saw film with Dr. Gordon and Adam, you know, running a game together, like, working, like, working together as villains, like, I think that would just be a fucking amazing story to kind of dive into in this franchise, that's something I would fucking love to see, and so, yeah, you know, like, there's plenty of directions, you know, that this franchise can take, but they're just some of the reasons for why I think Dr. Gordon could return in Saw 9, and why I think Adam is definitively alive in the Saw universe. So yeah, let me know down in the comment section below, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, let me know down in the comments if you think Dr. Gordon uh, will return in Saw 9, and if you and if you are an Adam, you know, being a love supporter, or if or you think he's dead, and if you think he's dead, you know, give me your reasons. Give me your reasons for why you think he is dead. Because, you know, I am, uh, I'm curious to hear this from all different uh, perspectives. And, yeah, you know, like, I'm, uh, I want to hear what the fans have to say about this. So, anyways, guys, yeah, that's, it feels good to have finally done this video after, 
so many months of you know planning and wanting to make this video i'm so happy and satisfied that i finally made this video i'm very excited for saw 9 this october um i love the fucking logo that we got like that's classic saw at its finest so yeah i'm very excited for saw 9 and to see you know the possibility of where this franchise could go so anyways guys uh, yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day, evening or night, wherever you are, and I hope you have a sore-tastic day. Little, little pun for you there.